the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord, declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For, for forth, forth we beseech thee, thee O Lord, thy, thy grace into, into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Enter His gates with thanksgiving in your heart. Enter His courts with praise. Enter His gates with thanksgiving in your heart. For He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made This Mass is offered for the soul of Maxi de Souza and for the intentions of all of us present at this Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Damasus I. He was a Pope between 366 to 384. During his reign, Catholic religion, Christianity became the official religion of the Roman state. We have received our religion here in India not a state religion and therefore we need to be more conscious of our Christianity and being an example as good Christians around. Let us place ourselves in God's presence, ask forgiveness for our sins and the grace to celebrate this Mass in a worthy manner. Together we pray. I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christ 
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may constantly exalt the merits of your martyrs, whom Pope Saint Damasus so venerated and loved, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lived and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you in the way you should go. Oh, that you had paid attention to my commandments, then your peace would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. Your offspring would have been like the sand and your descendants like its grains. Their name would have never been cut off or destroyed from before me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response will be. All together. Blessed indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the path with sinners, nor abides in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Together. is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves shall never fade and all that he does shall prosper together Not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord knows the way of the just, but the way of the wicked will perish. Together. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the people, To whom shall I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to their playmates. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We played dirges and you did not moan. For John came neither eating nor drinking and they say he is a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking and they say look at him a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is justified by her deeds. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The world will have something to say against anyone. However excellent, however holy one may be. And therefore Jesus, aware of this, talks about comparison between John the Baptist and himself. In fact, the scribes and the Pharisees even defamed Jesus who seemed to be all good. And so when you and I receive a criticism, we should not be surprised. Jesus has prepared us for this. If they have done this to the master, what about the disciples? So let's be prepared for criticism and take it in the right spirit. Accept criticism, evaluate it, take what is necessary, leave the rest. There is a reference to children here. They are like children in the marketplaces. Now, same gospel, this is gospel of Matthew chapter 11. You go to gospel of Matthew chapter 19. Jesus says, be like little children. Now these are the two different images of children that we have. So the one of today is children shouting to each other, being, child, being childish. So childish behavior is stubbornness, being unreasonable. Now Jesus contrasts this in chapter 19 to be childlike. And what's, a, what's being childlike? A child just places his trust in his father and in his mother. A child laughs at anything, has no guile, simple. And so Jesus invites us to be childlike, trusting in the Father and not childish as the behavior suggests today. And if we can trust our Father and just believe God knows best, then we will be on the right path. The last sentence of Gospel of today is, yet wisdom is justified by her deeds. Yeah, Jesus says that, you have seen my works, you have seen the miracles I have performed, I have healed the sick, the deaf hear, the blind see. The wisdom is justified by my deeds. And therefore he invites us also, Matthew chapter 7 verse 16, you will know them by their fruits. So he invites us also to produce good fruits, good deeds, so that we may be counted among the blessed of heaven.
With this bread and wine, let us offer up our needs, our intentions, offer up people who have asked us to pray for them. We offer to the Lord all those who are sick, those in hospitals, those who have died from our family and among our friends. We ask the Lord to bless those who celebrate their birthdays today, wedding anniversaries and happy events in their life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands and praise the glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh. And so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of your son our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In
in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you who take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with His glorified body. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray for healing and protection from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come for you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. We pray for the doctors, nurses and attendants. Protect them. Bless those doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take the appropriate steps for the good of the people. O merciful God, keep us safe and give us your peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.